hello everyone this is Raz uh, welcome back so in this video we're going to learn uh, how to use dataset search feature of Google okay so Google in 2018 um, they launched a feature called dataset search okay so when you um, go back to uh, an article published in 2018 September published in nature um, it was about Google Anvil search engine for open data. The tool called Google Dataset Search should help researchers to find the data they need more easily. So now um, it's been already more than two years and now we're going to see how it looks now. Okay, so if you go to this um, particular uh, website datasetsearch.research.google.com if you don't remember this um, name of the URL or name of the website then you don't need to worry uh, you just type dataset in Google and then you can click on this link dataset search okay now this is the search engine for um, dataset so now when you uh, see this particular uh, window uh, you can see that you can type something over here um, which which is quite easy to uh, see the interface is uh, very easy okay uh, you can type the keywords over here and there are even some um, some hints over here for example you can try coronavirus COVID-19 or some keywords uh, with the site name so let us um, start searching something okay let us start typing um, COVID-19 so one of the uh, beautiful features of this data set search is that it even gives you the hint okay for example if you want um, um, if you want that particular uh, title then um, then it gives you the hint by typing in if you don't need the hint then you can just press enter okay sorry yeah it's just COVID-19 and then hit enter it will um, show you the different websites from which you can download the data set um, okay so you can even specify the download format by uh, clicking on this particular um, section so if you want it in the tabular format you can select table okay if you want very recent data then you can click on that particular uh, link on last updated and then filter the result based on when it was updated for example if you want it um, very recent for example updated within past month then you can click on this particular button uh, past month okay you can click on users rights and then see if you are allowed to use that particular data set or not so uh, some of the data set have non-commercial users license and some 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 of them you can even use for the commercial purposes so uh, you can let's click on commercial use allowed so the data sets from cdc or uh, data, data set from the governments you can you can usually uh, use them for commercial purposes as well for, for your own research for publishing them um, but some of the companies they, they may not allow you for commercial reasons and then uh, you can you can find the data set by clicking on this non-commercial use allowed okay so topic even uh, you can go uh, within this section and then you can filter the results by different topics for example if you want um, the data analysis topic then you can click on computing and then you can see that um, large number of data on a total of 57 data sets are found okay uh, if you want for other fields for example agriculture um, then uh, this this allows you to filter the results by uh, that particular uh, topic but this is still uh, uh, in very early stage I, I should say because um, it's been only two years since uh, it has been launched so this will keep on developing um, when the time progresses okay so let us try uh, downloading um, a sample data set by using this feature for example you want to you want to see the data on COVID-19 hospitalization click on this particular link and then click on explore at data San, San Francisco okay it will take some time to load depending on your uh, internet connection um, okay here you go 
now you can see uh, this particular website from which the data set uh, originally um, is available okay so uh, click on this export button and then click on the particular uh, file type that you want to download for example if you want to download CSV file then click on this particular uh, CSV button there are even other formats that you can choose so let's download a CSV file uh, data now you can see a CSV file is downloaded and you can click on open to uh, open the data set in a spreadsheet software or any software that opens your CSV file by default yeah here you go there are a total of um, one two three four five five columns and a number of rows uh, on the particular uh, on this particular um, data set even um, you can see the summary of this data set within that website so there are a total of 31,400 downloads there are five columns and 1,040 rows okay so for example if you want to uh, bookmark this particular data set then you can click on this particular button which is a save button okay um, for example if you want to save this as well for later you can click on this particular button and then if you click on saved data sets you can see uh, the results so this is it um, so if you think that this video is useful please share it with your colleagues and uh, see you in the next tutorial bye bye cheers